Good afternoon, good evening, good morning, wherever you are joining us from around the world. Welcome to the final lecture in session three of the first IHF live online symposium. My name is Courtney Gayen. I'm a member of the IHF Media Group and I'm the moderator for this lecture. Before we start, I will outline the translation options. If you have joined us for other lectures, you will know that they have been presented in English. This is the first one that will be presented in another language, French. So if you would like to listen in English, you will need to use the translation function for this lecture. And you can only use this if you are joining us on Zoom. The translation functions on Zoom are available at the bottom of your screen by clicking the globe icon. We have Spanish, Russian and Arabic translation available along with the English for this session. Please note that the Arabic translation is available under Chinese label. This first IHF live online symposium forms part of the Virtual Academy recently launched by the IHF to facilitate global online learning and licensing. All of this falls under the umbrella of the, the IHF Education Center available at ihfeducation.ihf.info. The symposium encompasses a total of 20 lectures presented by top handball experts from around the world. This lecture this afternoon is presented by Artur Yako, physical preparation coach for the men's professional team at Paris Saint-Germain Club in France. Please feel free to ask questions throughout the lecture. We will address them all at the end for this one. And please note this is being recorded so you will be able to access it on demand later for on-demand viewing. Also, this presentation will feature text in French and we are going to have that translated as well. So you will be able to access the translated document as well. And with that, we're ready for you to begin our tour. Thank you and welcome. Bonjour à tous. Et Hello je... to everyone and uh, welcome uh, for uh, this uh, presentation. I'm Arthur Yapo and I'm the uh, uh, fitness uh, coach of the Paris Saint-Germain Club and I will introduce to you today what uh, we could uh, uh, live during this uh, lockout period and after the lockout how uh, we could prepare players uh, to uh, become uh, uh, high level sportsmen and uh, what was our objective in our uh, schedule and in the uh, uh, program uh, scheduled uh, for uh, uh, the holidays in July and in August. So we will uh, start. Hello. So here we are. Uh, the Paris Saint Germain is an omnisport. A club gathering a various sports club que tiene varias sesiones davno predstavlen of profesionalne nous avons l'équipe féminine qui est régulièrement chaque saison sur les phases finales de l'équipe finals of the champions league and uh, we also have a, 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 a judo club which uh, was established with uh, Teddy Riner as a main uh, judo uh, player. And uh, we have the uh, men's handball team uh, since uh, 2012. And this is our topic today. What are the main objectives uh, for the club? Uh, national objectives first. Uh, we have uh, the titles of uh, uh, champions uh, in France and then uh, France's Cups in 2004 and uh, the uh, League's Cup and uh, four uh, champions trophies. But the main objective of the club, of course, is uh, to uh, have a of the champions title. The uh, coaches uh, are Raul Gonzalez, uh, who is the uh, main coach. And we also have Jesus Gonzalez, who is uh, the uh, associate uh, coach uh, there not part of the same family they're just both of them uh, spanish uh, spaniards and uh, uh, they uh, uh, gave us uh, very good results at the national level 
and uh, at the international level as well in the Champions League. Ils sont bien sûr euh, assistés d'un staff complet. And they are supported with a complete uh, staff. We have Abdul Job, who is the manager, which means uh, he's in charge of the equipment, of, uh, uh, the, ha, of the staff, uh, and uh, specific equipment, and uh, travels in the Champions League or during the championships or the various cups every year. We have a medical staff as well uh, with our Dr. Regis Boxelet. We also have a, a chief physiotherapist, Christophe Dubois, with Interago uh, Iti and the video analyst, Selim Belmesaoud, and uh, for the fitness uh, preparation, uh, myself and uh, an ex-handball uh, player who is in charge of the training center, and uh, the uh, U18 team. On the 16th of March 2020, what happened? The uh, President of the Republic announces uh, that the country will be locked out, and this up to uh, the 11th of May 2020. Which means that uh, we will uh, have uh, be faced to a new phase, uh, which is uh, a partial unemployment. Therefore, players and the staff will, be, will have to stay at home and there is no possibility to have a subordination link or relationship with the players, which means that we are not allowed uh, to uh, ask from them anything in a mandatory way within their professional activity. And uh, we have no official contact uh, professionally with the players. Uh, we have two days a week of uh, telework, uh, which are granted to uh, the staff. And uh, we need to find the balance between the telework and uh, lockout, uh, which means uh, uh, no uh, school, which means that we have uh, to uh, uh, be in charge of our uh, own children. Uh, the working uh, meetings and answers uh, can be made only during the two uh, uh, working days and uh, uh, all, all contracts uh, are suspended. Uh, the um, uh, physical program uh, and fitness program is important. We have no access to anything. Therefore, the players need a specific maintenance program to allow them to keep some fitness and to be fit when they come back to the normal activities. This obliged us to organize the various meetings in teleworking in order to prepare the professional team and the other teams as well for various programs that we were to establish. Therefore, we choose to, uh, to work as usual in terms of uh, warming up. These are exercises that the uh, players are used to do. And uh, we uh, preferred uh, to uh, uh, give them the same exercises so that uh, they are in the same 
environment of uh, exercises in order to have these uh, articular and muscular and joint and muscular uh, pre-warming as uh, you can see here uh, as for the muscular pre-warming uh, with the uh, eccentric ischio and uh, bridge with one uh, leg and uh, uh, some uh, active and dynamic uh, stretchings. Uh, these for classical uh, uh, warming up, so when we are uh, outside, uh, but we, when we have uh, muscular warming ups, uh, the warming up is quite different. Uh, with a, a warming up uh, circuit uh, with shoulder and hips, uh, we, uh, as uh, for a Cuban wrestler, for the uh, uh, higher part of the body and a second uh, uh, work on uh, based on the shoulders and uh, the back uh, in Y for those knowing it and uh, uh, some work for legs based on the uh, very classical uh, uh, lateral uh, bands and uh, uh, internally and externally. Uh, so uh, this is a, a presentation regarding uh, our program and I will give you the first part uh, which is a, a session uh, uh, for the higher part of the body for the chest uh, let's, uh, with uh, push-ups and uh, uh, so on, and uh, uh, some uh, muscle building uh, with, uh, as objective to have uh, some part in isometrics uh, to put uh, the muscles under tension, and then repetitions, uh, which would allow to uh, be more intensive uh, than in a classical uh, session because uh, we were on the sixth week and by the sixth week uh, we wanted to diversify our sessions so that the players uh, could uh, uh, still uh, be working even though it was only with uh, elastic bands. Uh, we uh, choose also uh, to have a cardio ex uh, outside exercises uh, for no more than 30 minutes and uh, in this uh, period of uh, lockout uh, we had information coming every day we had uh, some information uh, in addition to what we had to do or not uh, with the players i will enter into details later on uh, these are the various uh, indications and tips that we had on the activities to be practiced uh, for high level sportsmen uh, during the lockout and every day we received information uh, which were more detailed than the day before. The same type of uh, schedule was established for the training center and uh, this uh, was ex explained uh, very clearly with uh, photos uh, because the training uh, center is uh, uh, more equipped uh, in terms of uh, athletic uh, practice so we uh, needed uh, to have uh, uh, more intensive examples uh, to uh, achieve the sessions as we wanted. The objectives of these, uh, these programs were, on the first hand, uh, to maintain uh, the aerobic uh, function and work, and uh, on the sec uh, second uh, objective, uh, to work on the muscle strengthening, and thirdly, uh, to develop or to maintain and uh, still be working on the various aspects uh, of uh, speed, uh, that uh, we should not uh, forget because it is a quality we should maintain during the whole season, even though uh, we are at the beginning of the preparation with exercises uh, that uh, we could have uh, during warming ups, for instance. So what was the objective? The aerobic work uh, was uh, 
mainly a fundamental endurance, uh, uh, mainly SV1 at 70% of the uh, maximum BPM and uh, this during one hour as the maximum. Uh, so we could have sessions of uh, 30 or 45 minutes uh, without uh, going beyond one hour. We would not go beyond one hour because the virus was very sensitive to heart effort. And if the body was rather tired, could be contracted very easily by the sportsmen after physical activity. And then we had a muscular strengthening work. Uh, it's an, mainly uh, body weight or, or with uh, some uh, elastic bands uh, to uh, maintain uh, the deep uh, muscles. That was the main objective. This uh, is uh, an important uh, objective for muscle scene, so we did not have access uh, to any gym. Uh, the work of uh, uh, deep uh, muscles uh, allows, allows us you to lose uh, less in uh, muscular mass since uh, you still uh, work your muscles. Uh, you lose uh, some of it, of course, because uh, you don't have the same benefits as in a gym, uh, but uh, uh, this loss is less important and as I told you uh, the work on speed which is an athletic uh, capacity to be uh, uh, continually maintained and uh, at least uh, athletic capacity should be developed uh, during uh, the whole preparation uh, which is uh, uh, one of the best way uh, uh, for it to be efficient and uh, to be uh, requested at the optimum level. Uh, this is a proposal of a video uh, that uh, we would send them uh, when we were having uh, these uh, sessions during the, lock the lockdown. So you will watch it and then I will resume. Uh, so we had uh, exercises uh, relatively simple to be achieved uh, so that they wouldn't need uh, many equipment uh, and uh, these uh, sessions were proposed every Monday and uh, uh, three to five times a week these uh, sessions uh, would uh, uh, remain no more than one hour uh, for the reasons I mentioned earlier, uh, due to the coronavirus, uh, which could infect uh, uh, someone who was uh, tired. These exercises are exercises that I uh, achieved myself uh, with the uh, help of my uh, uh, wife uh, we would organize ourselves my uh, wife was uh, shooting and i was doing the editing of the videos uh, and i would send them i would send these videos uh, to uh, uh, the players late at night or early in the morning in order to achieve this kind of work And by the end, uh, we would explain the kind of work uh, we wished uh, for these players. Later on, we established a gathering 
of uh, uh, fitness uh, coaches of LNH. Uh, uh, this uh, is a gathering uh, of coaches of LNH in France. And every uh, coach of every club uh, would meet and exchange on the work established in the various clubs on the possibilities to work with the players that we could have. In this gathering, we would propose ideas, working ideas, mainly on the possible physical tests uh, that uh, would be uh, interesting uh, to do after uh, lockdown, after the lockdown period, and uh, information exchange on the working methods in the other sports activities uh, during the lockout. So uh, we had recommendations on uh, COVID-19 by AMCFP, uh, which is a body in, in charge of uh, football, uh, uh, which uh, 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 had a study on uh, uh, how we could uh, end uh, the lockdown and how to come back to being a, a high level sportsman. Uh, this was uh, headed by Olivier Morelli, which is, uh, who is the uh, uh, fitness uh, coach of uh, uh, French uh, teams of uh, handball and volleyball. Uh, there he is, for those who do not know him. Uh, these exchanges were interesting because uh, we could have elements uh, such as uh, the one you can see on the screen, which is a draft protocol of a medical uh, uh, comeback, uh, which is uh, re and medical recovery followed by all professional clubs. And uh, thanks uh, to these kind of documents, uh, we could know that uh, uh, we, uh, uh, we we should not have uh, sessions of more than one hour and with a maximum intensity of 70 percent of mpm uh, uh, or mpm uh, max and uh, uh, we had information on uh, exercises and immunity uh, information on uh, how to take one's uh, temperature when uh, uh, after the uh, lockout and the kind of cardio training uh, sessions we could have on uh, muscle strengthening and hydration as well and tobacco uh, we also had information on the, the uh, prohibition or restriction of having uh, uh, physical activity when we had some doubts on a specific player. During, ce confinement, During uh, this lockdown, uh, we also had access to conferences which were really interesting. Uh, and one uh, from INSEP uh, on uh, culture and sport and sports. Uh, 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 for uh, uh, high level sportsmen, uh, how, what to do uh, uh, as physical work, uh, precautions to be taken uh, in order to avoid, uh, to endanger uh, the players and uh, uh, with some interaction, interactions uh, with various uh, speakers. And here, that was uh, the end of the uh, lockout. And during this period, which was on the 11th of May, as uh, planned by the government, the information we got was that the sports clubs uh, could uh, uh, go back to their activities uh, from uh, the 2nd of June. This authorization was given by the Ministry of Minister of Sports and this uh, was uh, really expected by uh, various clubs 
in order to know how to organize uh, themselves to prepare uh, the uh, uh, high level sports uh, so that they uh, become again high level sportsmen. And I will show you a kind of uh, a schedule of a re athletization that we could establish uh, in June. So we had uh, in agreement uh, with the medical sector. On the first hand, the obligation, we, it was mandatory uh, to have medical tests, uh, which uh, uh, covered three days and which started with a, a medical uh, test of efforts. So uh, uh, we needed to see whether we uh, needed to do it uh, on the floor mat or on a, a bicycle. And, uh, uh, but this, uh, we thought that the floor mat test uh, was uh, uh, closer to uh, uh, reality and uh, the intensity of uh, physical activity so that uh, we could get uh, 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 real data, uh, actual data on these, on these efforts. Uh, uh, this uh, happened on the 1st of June, on uh, Monday. On uh, Tuesday, uh, 2nd of June, uh, uh, we used the PCR test, uh, which is the, uh, uh, to see, uh, uh, the test on the nose and uh, on the third in the mornings, uh, we had uh, uh, blood samples uh, to uh, have more information on uh, the players in order to uh, allow them to train or not. Uh, and we started immediately in the afternoon, uh, at the starting at uh, uh, 4.30 and during two hours, uh, on uh, st muscle strengthening. And in the, our schedule, we planned uh, to have in the mornings, and we started on uh, uh, Friday morning. So we planned uh, to have uh, exercises and uh, uh, races, endurance races, fundamental endurance at 70% of BPM max as indicated uh, earlier uh, with in the various uh, slides I showed. And in the afternoons, uh, muscle strengthening with a very precise uh, protocol uh, that I will show you more in detail later on when we will be talking about the cardio work. This kind of uh, work uh, has been achieved uh, uh, three times a week on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. Every time in the mornings between 10.30 and, and uh, noon, and in the afternoons between 4.30 and 6.30, up to the end of June, in order at the end, by the end of uh, the month to have uh, to take stock of the uh, physical uh, uh, state and fitness state of the players uh, to uh, uh, get data on the players and before uh, uh, preparing a schedule for them during the holidays. So uh, here you have an example that I already explained on the organization of sessions. So we had uh, uh, this, uh, uh, how many players, uh, how many groups, uh, because the protocol would uh, require uh, for the for uh, training, uh, group training. Uh, if we had uh, the whole team, uh, we have uh, uh, too much proximity and uh, we needed uh, four square meters uh, around every player uh, so that uh, there is no prox proximity in order to have uh, some uh, social distancing. And uh, we had uh, uh, for strengthening uh, uh, sessions uh, in the uh, Stadium uh, Pierre de Coubertin, 
in Paris and the access uh, where the main uh, uh, entrances uh, were welcomed by the, the doctors or the physiotherapists who would take their temperature and would give them a questionnaire and uh, would give them the uh, uh, what they should do, what they should be doing, and we have some spaces, a uh, central uh, uh, area, uh, two uh, annex uh, uh, spaces, and a gym, and a, a VIP space. Uh, the equipment, uh, as for equipment, uh, uh, for uh, uh, muscle strengthening, uh, uh, this was uh, uh, established at the level of uh, plus one in order to uh, have uh, workshops uh, uh, which would uh, would not be too close so that uh, the uh, players uh, would not exchange some uh, uh, virus and uh, the uh, customized equipment also the weak weekly uh, frequency and uh, uh, daily frequency and uh, in the, what we should uh, be doing in the mornings, footing, uh, orient, orient, and uh, in the afternoons uh, uh, with the working team uh, uh, for uh, strengthening, proprioception, amplitude, uh, uh, cognitive uh, work, postural work, stabilization, uh, plyometry, uh, change of direction, uh, flexibility. Uh, we wanted to have uh, uh, customized uh, video sessions, but we could not do it for organizing organization reasons. By the end of uh, June, uh, we had uh, planned uh, to have uh, uh, this kind of test uh, uh, on track. We could, that we could not um, establish for the reasons I will explain to you uh, later on, but we could have some tests uh, uh, which were interesting in order for the, the players program individually. And uh, we also have a phys physiotherapist uh, test uh, achieved uh, by the uh, uh, fitness coaches. We were working in collaboration and uh, we have uh, muscular and uh, postural uh, work, work sessions. And uh, this is the schedule uh, so that you can have an idea about the timeline uh, to achieve the project from the 1st to the 3rd of June. Medical tests uh, from the 3rd of June to the 22nd, uh, re athletization of the players in the Pierre de Coubertin Stadium. And from the 24th to the 26th, the various uh, physical and physiotherapist uh, therapy uh, tests. So uh, we started the sessions on the 2nd of June. In uh, uh, health and specific conditions, uh, I will now uh, reiterate what I just said. It was not uh, an easy organization and it was a very enriching uh, experience. So we had medical physical tests that I will show you in a video later on. We also had uh, uh, some uh, social uh, distancing uh, that we had, uh, and therefore we had uh, uh, limited uh, four players uh, in groups and uh, we would take uh, the temperature at the entrance every five minutes. The mask was uh, mandatory. Uh, we have a customized space uh, delimited uh, for the whole month of June, and uh, uh, we had uh, uh, a small box uh, uh, for every uh, player with some uh, hydroalcoholic uh, gel and some customized equipment. So this is an example of uh, this effort test achieved on the 1st of June. You can see here the players uh, achieving their test on the mat. This, this test uh, 
is uh, carried out uh, by on stages. We, uh, we start with a every 30 seconds seconds and uh, we can uh, go on uh, by step or by half step we will uh, hear what it says because he gives a very interesting uh, information on the uh, health of the um, players. I wanted you to hear what was uh, being said by the doctor uh, because uh, uh, he is uh, specialized on uh, cardiac tests, saying that uh, the objective was to see whether there was a concern regarding the COVID-19 and to see whether uh, the player uh, had uh, some training uh, or not, and uh, if he was fit or not, and uh, uh, if the team during the lockdown uh, uh, was uh, well maintained, uh, and therefore uh, we uh, worked well during uh, this uh, whole month of June. Uh, what is the list of equipment uh, uh, which was customized. Uh, we had uh, these. Uh, uh, we had uh, these uh, floor mats. Uh, this is important uh, uh, for the players not to exchange their uh, different tools, so that so that there is no transmission of virus. And uh, the equipment was not uh, very uh, important. To it was a basic equipment. Uh, which was very useful uh, for uh, the uh, work of the players daily and safely. And uh, behind every uh, group, after every workshop, all uh, tools used and all equipment used, even the, the ground on which they were working, was disinfected uh, in order to have no risk at all. So we had uh, fit balls, we have elastic bands, uh, mini and power bands uh, of various intensities. Uh, we also had uh, uh, some tennis balls uh, for the cognitive uh, system and uh, hand balls. Uh, we also had uh, drum, jump ropes. And uh, here you have the uh, physical program uh, on the, for the afternoons of the first 15 days of June. Uh, we had four uh, workshops uh, on the, for the first part. Uh, we had some warming up uh, with the uh, strengthening of shoulders uh, with elastic bands and of the hips as well, uh, the strengthening uh, of uh, uh, the neck as well of cervicals, uh, work on mobility as well in order to have some gain in amplitude and uh, to allow the players uh, uh, to put the players in an environment uh, which was more flexible. Uh, 
regard, in comparison with, with uh, what they had uh, during the lockdown and they couldn't why they couldn't do this kind of work. Uh, uh, the second workshop was based on uh, muscle uh, strengthening and more generalized. Uh, the uh, third uh, workshop was more specific uh, based on the development of uh, cognitive uh, aptitudes. And uh, the fourth uh, workshop was based on uh, uh, the work of Ash SR uh, muscle work with a protocol of uh, a three series at 50% uh, of uh, IRM with uh, 15 repetitions with a tempo of uh, three, uh, uh, zero, uh, three, and uh, uh, patterns of movement of uh, pushing, pulling on the uh, higher and lower part of the body. I will give you more def definitions on the HSR protocol, which means uh, heavy, slow resistance, which is a specific protocol and preventive of uh, tendons, uh, the Achilles uh, tendon and the patellar tendon, uh, no, but uh, uh, which could be used to the other tendons of joints as well that we use uh, for uh, physical uh, efforts. It is a protocol uh, substituting to the eccentric protocol, uh, which is uh, uh, based on prevention of uh, injuries, which aims at uh, improving uh, uh, the tendon function. And and uh, which reduces uh, pain progressively, uh, uh, favoring uh, the metabolism of uh, the tendons. So we are in the prevention of uh, joints and tendons after a lockdown of two months. And this is an example of uh, a warming up achieved by, by myself uh, during uh, June, the month of June. And here we are, and on the internal and external rotator of the hip, here you have uh, the player, we have the floor mats, uh, we have elastic bands uh, which are customized uh, to every, uh, for every player. Uh, this is a, a work on the internal rotator of the shoulder. Uh, this player is strengthening his muscles. And after the rota internal and external rotators, we work on the mobility, the mobility of the ankles here. And another work of mobility of the hip and the spine and both associated. some work of stretching. Uh, this is only the warming up. Uh, I choose uh, to uh, put uh, uh, both on the, f the first uh, work uh, workshop uh, because it was uh, interesting uh, uh, for uh, a good uh, warming up of the player and go progressively uh, to workshops uh, which are more intense uh, with uh, some strengthening, uh, requesting a good part of the body globally. Uh, second workshop. This is uh, now the muscle strengthening session. You can see here the work of squats, of deep squats and elevation of uh, arms with kilos that you have to raise. And uh, uh, this is a work of uh, uh, strengthening and mobility. Here, it, it is a strengthening of and functional work. Uh, same kind of work, but with another group. Here, uh, this is uh, the workshop on uh, 
cognitive uh, capacities. But I will wait a little bit before showing it to you. Here it is. Uh, so it is a work of coordination of right eye, open and closed eyes. Uh, and you have uh, uh, to uh, put all your uh, hands in contact and then uh, by walking cl with closed eyes. Uh, so you can see that the uh, social distancing is well uh, 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 by by and uh, there's a work with the ball. You have to take to be aware of the space. Uh, and you have to be aware of the space uh, on one foot. Uh, it's not uh, really easy. You cannot always succeed. And here uh, you have to be aware of the space with the ball against the wall, recovery of the ball from with one hand, with uh, one uh, uh, on one uh, leg or the other, uh, to have more difficulties in the situation. I will not show you everything because the video is rather long. So I will go now to the uh, fourth workshop, which is the uh, HSSR uh, muscle strengthening uh, session. I will show you what uh, we can do. Uh, you can see the player cleaning uh, the equipment. So you can see that we were really aware of uh, the protocols of, for using the various equipment. And here you have to push for during four, uh, three seconds uh, the equipment. Uh, this is one of the movements. Uh, so you have to bend your knees and then dur during the complete extension, you have to push the equipment. So this is the physical program of the afternoons uh, over uh, the 15 last days. Uh, as you could see, uh, we had four workshops and now we have three uh, workshops. Uh, the first one, uh, which is the, the warming up, which is always based on the same kind of work. As, as, but here, I was in charge of uh, the, the general, uh, generalized uh, muscle strengthening. And uh, on the 15 uh, first days, uh, it was only uh, 30, uh, 30 minutes. Uh, for the 15 last days, uh, uh, we would uh, have more intensity uh, in the various exercises. And uh, this would allow uh, to better manage the work of the players, especially on uh, specific exercises as we will see later on on the video. Uh, so the second uh, workshop was more specific and then uh, with uh, uh, some work uh, with the uh, ball. And uh, on the fourth uh, workshop, uh, 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 we uh, could use the HSR uh, we would have done uh, during the 15 first days and uh, we would use rather the strength. Uh, we would go uh, up to 60% uh, of uh, one RM with 10 repetitions with four series. And instead of having 15 repetitions, uh, therefore we uh, uh, had uh, 10 repetitions. So we 
uh, we decreased uh, repetitions, but uh, the uh, load was increased in order to uh, reduce the intensity of the work because three series at 50 percent, 15 repetitions uh, for six seconds uh, uh, was very intense, but this uh, uh, allowed us uh, to uh, smoothly uh, arrive to this kind of work. So you see uh, uh, the uh, tempo, two seconds uh, uh, or ten, in uh, pushing, in eccentric, without uh, any uh, uh, resting time, one second, during uh, the total extension, uh, the patterns were always uh, pushing, pulling, uh, and uh, higher and lower part of the uh, of the body with shoulders and uh, uh, biceps. You have some uh, examples of the uh, warming up here and mobility on the first uh, uh, workshop with the uh, muscle strengthening. So you can see here, uh, work uh, with uh, uh, elastic bands uh, for to strengthen the muscles and the work of speed is a work that you can use at any time of the season according to the intensity uh, you're using. So we have a, a rhythm uh, scale which allowed us to work on the various uh, supports and uh, to use some uh, intensity so we have uh, the work of uh, strengthening of some muscles uh, with uh, elastic bands at the level of the uh, uh, of this lower part of the body and a work of the of the arms uh, this was more dynamic and speed a speed workout and that's the same kind of exercise uh, requesting all deep muscles of the abdomen and of legs, of the legs and of the upper part of the body. And uh, you have the second workshop, specific and cognitive. Yeah, it is another kind of work of coordination of the right eye and fingers with uh, lateral move, same uh, move of uh, the finger uh, up, upwards and downwards on one uh, foot and the other in order to really feel the foot working in the in the instability and uh, how to strengthen it so an exercise of a plyo uh, with lateral moves and dribble and shoots on the poles we have some uh, uh, poles and uh, uh, the players when they would arrive in the zone uh, would take uh, another direction and uh, uh, throw the, the ball on a specific pole. This is the same exercises with uh, another group of players. Another work, another cognitive work of coordination with one tennis ball and a handball. You have to go on one foot and the other for the work of, uh, of this kind of work and requesting the coordination. Atelier numéro 3. Now the third workshop, strength and endurance. 
So now uh, uh, you have the extension of the hips uh, and uh, you, it's a uh, uh, work of pulling, of pushing to develop uh, uh, with, uh, the kilos you, you have to raise. Uh, and uh, some information on uh, the work uh, uh, we would do uh, in races in the mornings uh, during the whole period of June. On the first uh, week uh, from the 2nd to the 7th, uh, we started fundamental endurance, uh, 40 minutes at 70%. We chose uh, 40 minutes because uh, we thought uh, that the uh, uh, players uh, didn't have any uh, race. Uh, it was uh, more interesting uh, to uh, start with 40 minutes because uh, then uh, you start uh, having uh, some fundamental endurance and to start uh, this was more useful uh, regarding RPM requested. On the second uh, week we uh, were working uh, longer uh, 50 minutes and then 60 minutes and on the third session a work uh, uh, which was longer we choose uh, to have a session on one hour 30 to two hours on a, a bicycle and uh, with an, an intensity of rpm of 70 to 80 uh, percent so we increased the intensity. On the third week, uh, we used uh, the fat leg, which is uh, an alternance of uh, work. You can uh, uh, go up to 80% uh, on one, two, uh, or 30 seconds. Uh, th and uh, uh, you can go to 70 percent, uh, uh, which uh, allows you to have a variation of, among the uh, intensities requested and uh, uh, the rhythm on the uh, race time with a, an integrated work at the physical level. On the last week, uh, we had also fat leg, but a long fat leg at 80 and 70% uh, with an integrated work on a technical and physical circuit. Uh, these are a few examples of the warming up of the sessions uh, we had in the mornings outside on uh, uh, races at 70%. Uh, this is a warming up uh, of speed, as I told you. Uh, we were working on static speed uh, because you have to work on coordination uh, and that that's uh, what we were doing uh, in order to uh, uh, work uh, with the deep muscles and uh, the uh, deep uh, uh, joints uh, to uh, better comprehend uh, the running uh, exercise later. So you have a coordination uh, between uh, the leg and the arm and here how to run fundamental endurance at 70 percent and what uh, you should understand is that the 70 percent was uh, uh, the intensity requested by all the uh, bodies medical bodies in order to avoid uh, to have a uh, a tired uh, body, so uh, uh, we choose uh, to uh, uh, keep this uh, basis of uh, 70%. And, and this is uh, thanks uh, to this intensity that you can uh, later on, uh, when you will increase your intensity in your preparation, that you will recover more easily the various intensities uh, that uh, you will have and uh, of course uh, avoid uh, uh, the uh, various problems 
if you uh, keep uh, uh, this intensity and if you uh, develop uh, the aerobic uh, capacity on the, this first part. So here we took advantage of uh, doing it uh, because it is also something uh, we don't have the time to do because uh, normally uh, preparations are uh, shorter, but uh, here we choose uh, to take the time to do it for two reasons. The first one is that uh, players anyway uh, could not do uh, uh, this uh, uh, during uh, the lockdown. And the second reason is that uh, since we don't have uh, time to do it uh, normally, uh, we could uh, develop uh, all that so that uh, we could be more uh, precise on the uh, physical integrity and fitness of the player. You will not uh, see the whole video be because it is a rather long one. But you will see that social distancing uh, really uh, respected here. You have one, one player and no, not a group of players running at the same time. The second part of our program, FATLEC, short to long, intensity 80 to 70%. Uh, this is an example of forming ups that uh, we could have uh, during this part. And contrary to the first part, uh, with uh, fundamental endurance, uh, we choose to have uh, more intensity uh, since uh, uh, we were working more intensely. So with more intensity in the uh, warming ups in order to uh, uh, comprehending uh, the uh, work uh, which we would be established with uh, a request uh, uh, more intensive on joints. We, we're not at the SV2 uh, level, uh, but we choose to remain under uh, this uh, SV2 level uh, in order to uh, uh, still be working in the uh, aerobic capacity in order to have a good basis and in order to be uh, very precise and uh, alert regarding the physical integrity of the player. Voilà. Un joueur qui part et un joueur qui fait un passage. So you have one player leaving and the other one coming. Uh, in this session, we were working on just one minute, just one minute. one minute, one minute, 10 times with a warming up on a fundamental endurance of one minute. Uh, regarding the fat leg, uh, short, uh, too long at 80% uh, percent and 17%. Percent. So uh, I, now I want to talk about testing. Uh, what about testing? Uh, since we are at the end of the season and uh, we had recruited new players uh, and we had uh, players who left, uh, it was important to test the new players uh, that we would uh, take uh, uh, to know whether they had concerns regarding COVID-19 and uh, to have a mapping of these players in parallel with uh, uh, 
the preparation of these uh, players. So we received the new players and they had to do some tests that the uh, uh, pro uh, players uh, will uh, have by the end of June after the June preparation. So the first step for Rust uh, in the physical level was the FMS test and uh, uh, over the seven items, uh, deep muscles, uh, hurdles, defense, uh, shoulder mobility, exclusion at the level of the shoulders in comparison with uh, some pain or pathology we could have and a test of uh, hip flexibility, a test of uh, stability at the level of the chest and a test of stability at the extension of the legs level. So these tests uh, allowed us uh, in the physical sector uh, to uh, have uh, some indication on uh, the uh, uh, player in order to suggest a program with uh, corrective exercises in order to uh, uh, work on the various asymmetries uh, by the end of the test. Uh, so this is one of the mappings, uh, one of the examples we could have for uh, the players here, uh, the posture. Uh, this is uh, the results of the FMS uh, test coupled with the work of stretching, posterior, which is a classical work, uh, stretched uh, leg, uh, uh, pushing uh, uh, something on a on a box and uh, uh, go uh, 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 to have the, the greatest extension indicated on the box. And on the left-hand side, uh, we have a potential work on the aerobic uh, level. And uh, the one you could see during the tests carried out uh, at the beginning of June, with the other the, the players and uh, these tests were applied to uh, these new players to get this information uh, what is important for us is the intermittent vma the P, uh, uh, Weight, uh, weighted uh, PMA, and, and we add 10% uh, to our protocol after uh, uh, the effort test uh, in order to get a, a weighted PMA. Uh, the calculation uh, 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 fork, uh, was between uh, uh, 10 to 20%. Uh, uh, and I choose to have 10% because this was closer to the uh, capacities of the players when they do this kind of tests. And I base myself on the experience I have uh, since uh, a few years uh, on the test I have with my teams uh, in comparison with what I could detect as efforts on this test. And here we have a test in green, which is the cognitive uh, system. As you could see, where well, we had uh, some sessions and uh, we uh, carried out a test uh, and I can talk about it. It is a test carried out on a tablet. And on this tablet, uh, you have uh, two tests possible that we choose. Random, the random one. Uh, with uh, figures uh, uh, coming uh, randomly between 1 and 25 and you have to go as fast as possible after the proposal of the figure as soon as possible to find it between 1 and 25 and this uh, will allow you to have some coordination work and to have more information on the coordination and the second test 
which is the up mode, uh, which is a screen uh, with uh, some figures uh, between 1 and 25, uh, requesting you to go as fast, as quick as possible between 1 and 25 in a, a, a limit uh, uh, with all these figures uh, which are mixed up and you have to do it very quickly. And then you have a, a, a test of strength of lower and higher, high and upper limbs. These tests are coupled with the test on IRM muscles. But on the lower level of the body, you have the jump test, the CMG, of the opto jump. And on the upper body, we have only uh, the protocol uh, and uh, push-ups. How many push-ups uh, the uh, player is able to do. And then we get a data and this data is, uh, put in, is entered into the machine, which give us some information regarding the whole mapping of the a player. This mapping is rather interesting for this player and uh, we hope uh, that uh, uh, we will have uh, new tests by uh, the beginning of August. Uh, this uh, will be uh, uh, strengthened. Uh, the, the right uh, uh, part will be uh, filled up. And now uh, you have tests uh, uh, carried out by the physiotherapists and you have a mapping as well uh, with a diagram showing uh, the capacities at the level of uh, the mobility of uh, the hips, uh, uh, the chest, uh, the shoulders, the ankles and the uh, 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 brain commotion as well, uh, which is a sector uh, uh, which is a very important element today in every uh, contact uh, collective sports. And uh, uh, we do not really take this into account, uh, but uh, we had to do it uh, because uh, we had uh, uh, various protocols to establish. Uh, so we chose uh, to have some uh, history on uh, ver the various uh, uh, players uh, regarding uh, any uh, commotion they could have, uh, brain commotion uh, they could have, and uh, to have the test established to see whether there are some remainings. And uh, uh, so this is for the uh, f physiotherapist. Uh, these uh, elements allowed us uh, to establish uh, some uh, uh, data on the uh, athletic uh, state of the player during the holidays of uh, uh, the players in July. They worked in June and uh, we would uh, give uh, the holidays in July and we would go back uh, by uh, the and resume uh, by the beginning of uh, August, because competitions uh, would ha would begin in uh, September. So uh, some other clubs had other kind of organization uh, and uh, every club has to choose uh, uh, the organization, uh, the best fit uh, for the club. So these are the various tests and that uh, we carried out uh, with uh, new players and uh, we did uh, by the end of June for the uh, pro players. And uh, this allowed us to get these diagrams. And these diagrams, these tests allowed us to uh, have some indication on the various asymmetries of the players and to propose uh, a protocol, a corrective protocol on the various uh, asymmetries they could have. Uh, this is a player having very interesting results, but uh, who requires uh, some work. Uh, so here you have exercises established uh, by a, a system 
of Excel uh, sheets uh, that we established uh, with the uh, selection of exercises according to the various pathologies and various asymmetries encountered in the player. And uh, here you have the uh, physiotherapist uh, diagram uh, which uh, has been taken into account uh, in order to uh, achieve and establish uh, the uh, player's program. And this is an example of uh, one of the uh, muscle strengthening uh, uh, session. Uh, we uh, started with the HSR on the first 15 days, on the uh, uh, last part of June, uh, and uh, for uh, the whole period of July, between uh, uh, four to five weeks, according uh, to the players, uh, because uh, 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 those uh, who were with us in June had uh, one week of rest. So we choose uh, for this period to have a hypertrophy uh, uh, work because this is important when you have a contact uh, sport uh, and uh, we never have enough time to work during the uh, classical season on these uh, capacities and uh, on this uh, kind of muscular work. And so we choose to uh, uh, cover this over four to five weeks in order to uh, resume our uh, schedule in very good conditions. And uh, here, I will, uh, I'm introducing uh, the planning we have uh, on the players. We choose uh, to leave uh, the players uh, who were with us in June, uh, having some rest. So these players uh, who were with us in June, and here we have the new players. And here, these are the players uh, we, who were with us in June, uh, and now they have some rest. And the other players uh, who resumed their individual program with uh, three sessions uh, a week, and they're doing exactly the same work as uh, the work uh, done by the players in June. Uh, so fundamental uh, uh, endurance of 40 minutes, uh, 50 minutes, uh, 60 minutes at 70% uh, of RPM. And on the uh, first week for the players who were there in June, and the second week uh, for the players uh, who were not with us in June, the new players. And here we working on the fundamental endurance, uh, but with a higher intensity, as you can see. I will not comment all weeks, uh, but you can see that uh, here in pink is uh, the part of uh, players who were with us in June. So they have uh, uh, two weeks, uh, two sessions a week, and then uh, three uh, sessions a week, and two sessions a week, and then uh, one week of rest. And the same thing for uh, the new players. And a weekend, uh, in the, during the weekend, uh, you have some rest. And those uh, restarting with me, resuming with me on the 24th of July, uh, once uh, uh, a day, three, uh, th um, three times a week. Uh, and a draft uh, program uh, from the 3rd of August to the 23rd of September. You can see here that we choose uh, to uh, go back uh, on the 3rd of August uh, with the championship, with the Champions League uh, around the 14th of September. It's the 16th, but uh, the uh, date are not really uh, set. Uh, so the championship uh, will uh, begin on the 23rd of September. These uh, cycles uh, could change since uh, we had a hypertrophy uh, just before. Uh, so I need to see uh, how, what is the uh, fitness of the uh, players and if they're uh, well fit, we could uh, uh, start uh, the development of strength here and to have more uh, time to develop the strength uh, 
rather than uh, uh, go back uh, to uh, uh, strength, uh, to uh, muscle strengthening. This is provisional, and uh, this could change according to the state of the players on the first week of August. So I hope that uh, my presentation was useful uh, to uh, see and uh, and uh, understand uh, what we established with the players of Paris Saint-Germain. And I hope that this uh, uh, was really useful in terms of uh, responsibility of the high level player if you don't have the possibility of uh, doing the same thing uh, uh, with uh, your sportsman because the uh, conditions are not uh, as easy uh, just uh, remain on the basic uh, at the basic level uh, don't try uh, to be uh, on the intensity uh, at the beginning it is better to uh, be at the prevention level uh, in order to uh, get prepared for the next championships because the next seasons uh, will be intense, uh, loaded and uh, filled and uh, it, it is better to be more preventive. So the uh, uh, physical integrity of the player is in important uh, in order uh, to avoid injuries and uh, you need to be uh, ready for the beginning of the championship to uh, have players uh, playing in competition. Now, if you have any question, I hope uh, uh, was, it was, uh, I was not too long. Do you have any question? We do have a few questions. Um, some are quite specific. <laughs> so let's see. Uh, the first one is actually about the wearing the masks. Does this have any impact on the athletes that you need to take into account while they're training? Je n'ai pas de retour. Attendez, je vais revenir ici. Voilà. Uh, he did not hear the French translation, unfortunately. He couldn't hear the French translation. Could you please repeat? So he's uh, asking the same question again. Uh, wearing uh, the mask uh, was not difficult because uh, the players uh, were informed and uh, uh, were locked down for two months. Uh, so they knew that the situation was uh, very special and wearing a mask was a, a security for their uh, health and uh, uh, the health of their families. And it was a medical protocol and uh, no one, uh, uh, and it was mandatory. Uh, so um, once these uh, obligations established, uh, wearing a mask was, accepted, not always pleasant, but accepted. Okay. Um, someone asked about the workshops you held. Uh, how long were each of them? And were you able to have all the players together or did you have to have smaller groups? Uh, the uh, workshops were organized uh, during uh, the first 15 days of uh, June were of uh, 20 minutes and uh, uh, by the end of June it was 30 minutes. We could have all players but in different groups. We had groups of four players in order to uh, uh, abide by the uh, uh, social distancing and the uh, safety uh, perimeter allowed of a four uh, square meter uh, player. 
the number of regarding the quantity of uh, workshops, uh, the number of series and repetitions. Uh, regarding the number of series on uh, workshops uh, uh, for muscle re strengthening and mobility, it was uh, three series uh, with 10 repetitions. And uh, regarding uh, muscle uh, strengthening with the uh, HSR, uh, uh, it was 15 se uh, three series of 15 uh, repetitions. Okay, now we have some specific questions about certain uh, exercises and things. Um, someone asked about the ideal pulse for basic endurance at 70%. Um, so regarding this intensity of 70% uh, at the beginning uh, was uh, uh, regarding uh, was uh, prescribed according to our protocol and suggested uh, medically speaking in order to uh, avoid any uh, contamination uh, uh, in terms of uh, COVID-19 and regarding uh, the choice of uh, June, uh, this was uh, to uh, request the the SV1 uh, uh, limit in order to work on fundamental endurance and to remain in this uh, at that level in at the aerobic uh, level uh, for various reasons because uh, the body uh, could not uh, 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 have the capacity to, to, to get it and uh, we didn't have the possibility to uh, take the time to work on it Okay, uh, somebody else asked about functional tests for joints in the knee and shoulder. Can you talk a bit about this, what you use? So we have uh, uh, two types of uh, uh, functional tests. We have uh, tests, uh, jump tests, of uh, knee uh, stability and uh, for shoulders. Uh, these are internal and external rotator uh, tests uh, with uh, uh, the Kaiser machine in order to see the, the strength that the place could have on the shoulders. And uh, as uh, uh, fitness coaches, uh, we had a test, uh, the FMS test for shoulders and knees uh, which would allow us to see the stability of knees when uh, the, uh, the knees are bent and uh, the shoulder mobility test uh, for the shoulders to see the mobility of the player on the right shoulder or the left shoulder and to test uh, whether there's some pathology in this area. Uh, we have a question about the fartlek training. Uh, why did you structure this as 30 minutes and how much distance is used? On a mis sur 30 minutes. It was uh, 30 minutes because uh, the intensity was higher because it was 80%. Uh, so uh, uh, we didn't find useful to go uh, beyond uh, for 80 uh, percent since uh, beyond 30 minutes uh, uh, the RPM would be higher uh, and uh, uh, the distance uh, was on a circuit in a forest of one kilometer 500 and uh, the players had uh, four to five turns uh, 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 for these uh, sessions. This is uh, rather traditional, uh, but this was part of our uh, plan uh, in our uh, uh, aerobic, uh, aerobic capacity of the player and uh, regarding SV2. Okay, we just have one more. Somebody asked about the recovery in each phase. 
can you talk a bit about this? Regarding uh, the recovery of every phase, uh, this was um, when we were running, it was at 70%. So we would go down to 70% uh, of RPM max, uh, which is not uh, something automatic. Uh, when you stop, this would allow the uh, player to manage uh, one's breath uh, to go down as uh, quickly as possible at the required intensity to recover on uh, certain uh, 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 races uh, we would uh, propose uh, this was more or less possible but this was the aim so that the player uh, could manage the various uh, intensities and efforts uh, to be uh, to perform even more later on okay that was the last question so we can finish there thank you so much Artur this was very informative I think mm -hmm. everyone enjoyed very much um, I'll just give a brief rundown of next week for everyone. We have four more lectures coming up next Friday and Saturday. On Friday, we have a presentation from uh, members of IHF commissions, Ramon Galejo and Diedrich Speit in charge of the Playing Rules and Refereeing Commission and the Commission for Coaching and Methods. And they will be talking about provocations and overreactions in modern handball. That will be at one o'clock Central European Summer Time on Friday the 17th. On Saturday, we have Seong O Ok, IHF analyst and coach of the youth women's Korean national teams, also a former player herself, you may remember her name. She will be talking about training feints and one-on-one -on -one situations at 3 p.m. Central European Summer Time. On Saturday, we have another lecture presented in French from Patrice Canea, the head coach of Montpellier Handball. Uh, he will be talking about technical and tactical details, which are not well adapted in some game specific situations. And that's at one o'clock European summer time on Saturday. And the final lecture next week is from Pierre Morton Sondal, Sodal, uh, IHF lecturer and official. And he will be talking about offensive fouls according to the PRC and CCM criteria at three o'clock Central European summer time next Saturday. So thank you again, everyone. Thank you, Artur. And we will Merci. see you again next Merci. week. Bye, everyone.